That's right. Alpaca poop. Nature's own remedy for terrible gardeners. That's us. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. Tear this world apart and let you in. Okay, as some of y'all know, uh, we've had alpacas. Well, we had alpacas. We sold them all a few months ago, but we kept them for about a year. And every day we had to shovel their poop. Uh, we moved all their poop out here into the woods to kind of just burn it and let worms, bugs, and everything do their thing on them. So we're getting ready now to move it to our raised beds. But y'all check out this uh, black gold here we've got going on. not even a year ago I think we started on March of last year and where I'm standing as well was also fully wooded with trees uh, so once we cut all the trees down we decided to build these beds right here and I can't stop thinking layering method we filled in with uh, dead branches uh, mulch we had some mulch that had been sitting and breaking down for maybe about six months so we filled in all the holes with mulch and dead limbs leaves uh, topsoil alpaca poo we just kind of layered everything in here we did go ahead and plant in these uh, last spring everything did okay but nothing really did really great but after the beds sit uh, we came out this fall and the, the level in them had dropped significantly, which to us, that means that it's actually doing what it's supposed to and the wood underneath is breaking down so that it holds in moisture. So what we did today, we came in and we have put alpaca poop uh, in all the beds. Once uh, the, we have rain coming in, so this we're hoping the alpaca poop will actually sink down some. And then we will bring probably more topsoil in. Uh, the big issue that we ran into last year, uh, because everything was so green and so fresh, we had a tough time keeping the beds themselves moist. That was a big issue we ran into with uh, growing in these beds last year. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I have a bunch of newspapers at work and I think I'm gonna shred them and put them in all of these beds as well to hopefully over this spring and summer to hold in some moisture. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side So since uh, the upcoming videos are going to be all about chickens and how to uh, convert a carport into a chicken house uh, I thought I'd give you a, a rundown of what is going on with the goats and, and what we have planned for them. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail, we'll, we'll do that in, in later videos. But to give you a, a quick rundown, back here we're going to cut this fence and open it up. We've got about an acre and a half of woods that we have uh, fenced off for the electric fence. and. Uh, so we're going to have kind of a combination of a grazing area and a wooded area. One day we hope that this is all pasture as well, but 
Uh, until then, it gives the goats plenty of things to do. Um, bark to peel and just do some complete deforestation. It's time to go check the, the electric fence, so I'll take you along with me. Make sure after all this rain and wind, we don't have limbs down on the fence. And uh, I'll, I'll kind of give you a rundown on, on what's going on with that. All right, I'm going to try and give you some perspective here. Right over there is, is where I was. All that greenery over there is the pasture I was just talking to you in. Uh, you can see the camper, to, uh, the white camper on the left, the current goat house, and then behind that is the new carport that we just had installed. So if you see where that carport or their barn, I, I need to start calling it their barn, their barn is at, um, and then the green pasture, here's the woods that we were talking about. We're gonna be okay. we pan right over here this is one of our first videos where we were clearing out that's an old goat house um, where we were clearing out for the new goat area so this is still a new goat area this is where we will we will hold our bucks that's gonna be a long walk I'll probably end up fast forwarding a lot of this so you don't have to listen to everything that I'm saying because I tend to ramble but uh Anyway, this four strand electric fence has done really well for us. Um, we haven't had one single case of them escaping. Okay, all the way down this road, we cut this road about five years ago. We thought we were gonna build a house back here. Long story short, we didn't. So we're using this road as a uh, our boundary line for for one of these for this this area like I said it's about an acre and a half he goes on down quite a ways we'll keep walking but I wanted to show you this the difference between what happens when a goat has been introduced to an area and on the other side of the road when a goat has not been introduced to an area it's just it's it's totally different. They they peel the bark. They they kill out all the weak tree. We've been doing this in many areas on our property for three or four years, and the results are always the same. It's it's almost devastation. They just they do such a good job. If you intend to make an area clear and it's thick. Uh, I don't have any before pictures, but I can assure you that uh, this this side looked just like this. check this out check what they do do on these uh, on these trees they kill out these smaller trees they fall on the ground uh, and and die and decompose and when we get in here to clear and make this pasture everything's going to be a lot simpler You hear that? That's a good indication. When I walk through here and check these these uh, this line, that thing popping and going to ground. All right, <clears throat> carrying on with our little tour. That's the idea. That's uh, about as far as our electric fence goes. It goes down a little while, a little ways further. You can see part of the pasture there still that we're, we're circling back around to. But anyway, uh, that's, that's the plan for the goats. They're gonna have this acre and a half. They're gonna have 
that other third acre of a pasture. They're gonna get their new goat barn. We're gonna separate the girls from the boys. The boys will have their own area. We'll use one of those cattle panel, uh, cattle panel buildings, sheds, shelters uh, for the boys uh, until we can get the time to build something more permanent. But uh, that's the plan for the goats right now. Thank you.